Hi everyone, what's up? It's Joshua here from Alternative Brewing. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new Akaya Pearl Brewing Scale. Now this is the updated version of the popular scale that has long awaited additions to its build and the programs found within. But before we jump straight in, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and smash that like button. And whilst you're there, you might as well click the subscribe following that, the bell icon. And then that way you stay up to date when we bring out new videos each and every week. So with that out of the way, let's jump straight in and check out the brand new Akaya Akaya Pearl Brewing Scale. Now, Akaya are known for three things when it comes to using their scales. Incredible precision with accuracy and super fast response times. But the use of a micro USB cord for charging these scales had been a deal breaker for some people. The latest Akaya Pearl now uses the more reliable USB-C charging cable. And this offers 30 hours of use through a lithium ion style battery. And it's this welcome update you are also likely to see throughout the rest of the Akaya scale range. The next biggest update to the Akaya Pearl has been the inclusion of a real-time flow indicator. And this can be found up top on the display of three from the five way modes. It can also be turned on or off in the settings. Essentially, it is a guide to allow you to visualize the speed at which you're adding your water into the brewer. And this becomes critical, say, when you're brewing pour over coffees. Now, the flow begins from the middle at around 0.5 grams a second, and then widens out to each side up to nine and a half to 11 grams a second pouring speed. Now you'll notice there are dots along the way, and these indicate thresholds for ideal flow rates. That first pair of brighter dots represent two and a half grams per second flow rate, and this is widely used across many drippers. That second set of brighter dots shows a six and a half gram second flow rate, and this is best used for targeting faster brew times, and of course, adding more water to your brew quicker. So to begin using the pearl scales, it can't be stressed enough how important it is that they're on a level and stable surface. Easy to turn on though, with a tear button on the opposite side. Each of these buttons has an added action to them, so whether you either hold them down or double tap them, you can access further parts to the scales programs. Now the first two programs on the Pearl are your standard brewing modes, but in all the modes, grams or ounces is possible. First up, that simple weigh mode, this displays the weight to a tenth of a gram. And the Pearl scale has a max weighing capacity of up to two kilograms. And there is an accuracy to within a tenth of a gram, all the way from zero up to that max capacity of two kilograms. So it doesn't suffer from a decreasing scale of accuracy, total pun intended there. And this makes the Pearl a reliable scale, not only for coffee brewing, but whenever you require a really trustworthy set of scales. The second mode, which is your dual display mode, most commonly used in all brewing scenarios, with the timer on the left, which you start and stop manually, and then the weight is displayed on the right. The third mode is your pour over auto start mode, similar to mode two, though the scale will automatically detect the flow of water and then begin the timer for you. Unfortunately, although this is a neat feature, it does stop the timer when you lift your brewer. So swirling pour overs or flipping an AeroPress mid brew, these methods don't really work in this mode. The next mode, mode four, is your porter filter or dosing mode. This is to simplify the workflow of repetitive weighing of coffee. So the scale will automatically detect a vessel, let's say a porter filter, then tear the weight of this vessel, remove it and or add your coffee to it. And then the scale will measure the weight of the coffee minus the vessel. This speeds things up by not having to constantly zero your porter filter manually and the scale will also auto tear back to zero after 15 seconds of inactivity, say for instance, when you're preparing your next porter filter for that next shot. And then the final mode five is your beverage mode. And this is used to calculate the final brew ratio and also display a summary of stats at the end of your brewing. And there are five steps to follow within this mode, each separating the placement of equipment and coffee onto the scales before you can start pouring. And then once you finally do finish your brew and it stops stripping, it is important to remove the brewer first before then removing the carafe or vessel. And then the pearl will display the total time and the total total amount of water used, then the total beverage weight as opposed to the total amount of water used, and then finally the coffee used to the beverage as a ratio, which might be interesting to some people familiar with coffee brew ratios. The one you start with is not the same one as you finish with in the cup, as the coffee grounds that you use will soak up some water. 
Though I do say, if it still tastes good and everything remains constant, then nothing really changes anyway. So out of the box, the new pearl scales still measure 16 by 16 centimeters, and you're able to use the entire surface to accurately weigh from. The height of the scale is 3.2 centimeters, though the bottom of the new pearl scale has been slightly updated, so it now sits on four feet rather than the whole base. The pearl still comes in two colors with a heat resistant pad to protect the weighing surface. Though the scale is made from strong, tough polycarbonate plastic, and in those tough commercial environments, it can withstand daily use, as it's water resistant enough that you don't have to be too concerned about spills over the top, as that top plate wraps all the way around and down, protecting the insides of the scale, though I wouldn't want to be dropping them. And you will discover further applications of the Pearl Scale, including software updates using its Bluetooth compatibility and Akaya's apps, connecting your smartphone or tablet to the scale, which also makes easier access to manage the scale settings. Everything from the auto on and off settings, turning the beeper on and off, and the sensitivity of these buttons. And that's the latest Akaya Pearl Brewing Scale for you. Now, there are a set of scales that will improve the consistency of your coffee brewing, and they have been built to be even faster and even more sensitive than the previous Pearl model was, which is something to say, as the Pearl scale has been a go-to scale for many brewers for some time, and they only just keep getting better. So if you have any questions on Akaya's new set of Pearl scales, add them in the comment section down below, and we'll get straight back to you. Thanks for watching to the end of this video, and we'll see you in the next one.